Hello, welcome to the Steam Summer Sale uh, 2023. I thought I would go through some games that I personally have played. Uh, some of them I've completed all the achievements on. Um, just highlight some things that are on sale that you may have never heard of. Some, some you may. Uh, typically just smaller titles, indie titles. Um, the big games don't really need the attention. But these are some of my favorites. Um, over the years, and I'm always happy to shout them out. So, to the first game on my list that I think you should definitely check out if you never have is The Messenger. This is gonna be, um, it, it, it took a lot of inspiration from the old Nintendo Ninja Gaiden games, and you can see in the background there um, just some of the gameplay. You're 2D side-scrolling hack and slash with some platforming, but the real sell for me on this game was the writing and the humor. This game is just incredibly funny. Um, you'll have some some very good, you know, good jokes, good laugh out loud moments. Uh, definitely do yourself a favor. Don't skip through the text. Read it. It isn't voiced because it's trying to be an old school 8-bit and sometimes 16-bit. You can see there. Um, a uh, video game, but this one is is just fantastic. I wish I could play this game for the first time like every year, but you can't. You can only experience a game like this once. Um, but the sabotage is working on um another game that comes out, I believe, at the end of August next month. Um, I'm looking forward to that. I'll definitely be buying that as soon as I can just for another taste of whatever they have in store. So do yourself a favor, grab the messenger. The next game that I would like to recommend if you've never played before is going to be Owlboy. This is a little bit older now, uh, 2016 release. Um, in this game, you take control of, uh, I forget his name, but you're, you're an owl. And it's uh, another sort of Metroidvania side-scrolling platformer. The gimmick in this one is that your main character, the character you control, can't fight. So you have to carry people around with you who can. Um, the art in this game is very, very pretty. Uh, the story was good. There was one really, really frustrating achievement, if that's something that you care about. Um, but it, it can, somebody actually wrote an auto hotkey script that uh, will do this canon sequence for you. When you get there, you'll know the piece that I'm talking about. Um, I played this game many years ago. Um, it's still, it holds up. The, I enjoy the, the pixely kind of graphics, similar to the messenger as well. Um, and this one is, uh, it's only, you know, it's, it's less than 10 bucks. It looks like it's eight seventy five here. So it's not a, a huge amount of money. And if you're into the Metroidvania style side scrollers with, um, exploration and pretty good puzzles, um, I highly suggest checking this one out. Next on my list is Lost in Random. This one is my first in three dimensions that I'd like to recommend to you. Um, this game gives me huge Tim Burton vibes, Nightmare Before Christmas-esque. Uh, the voice work is very well done. In this game, you take control of Even, who is trying to find her sister named Odd. You're going to, very early on, meet a dice that you will name Dicey. Um, and you're going to be able to use Dicey to activate some old magic that has left the world. Everybody used to have a die and there were some events that transpired, and now no one does except the queen, who um, rules over the six realms with her her uh, black die. Um, this is another one where the writing is very funny. You definitely want to pay attention to the conversations that you have with your die or your dice. Um, there's there's a lot of good jokes in this game, and I I feel like. This is definitely exactly what you would consider a hidden gem game. I uh, I had I had bought this and I it sat like I'm sure a lot of you 
do where it just sits and sits and sits in your backlog and when I finally gave it my attention I couldn't put it down I almost beat it in just one sitting it's so engrossing and addictive you'll end up caring quite a bit about these characters as you uh, explore each of the realms I can't recommend this game enough uh, definitely definitely check out Lost and Random all right, the next game on my list that I want to shout out is Ender Lilies. This is another Metroidvania. I do play other kinds of games, but this is just another one that is too good not to give a shout out to. Um, in this uh, in this game, you take control of that little girl that you see in the background. She. This is another game where she herself has no offensive capabilities, just like Owlboy she instead is going to enlist the help of spirits and you'll map them to different uh, buttons and when you push the respective button that spirit will do an attack um, related to their who they were they're, they're, they're dead they're dead guys so who they were before they died um, this is a more dark game in terms of visual style and tone there's some heavy themes in here. If you go for all the endings, you you might be you might be sad. You might get hit right in the feels a couple of times. Um, definitely, if you don't collect all the lore, read a summary after you beat the game or whenever you're ready to be spoiled. Um, there may be some things that you weren't expecting to find out about uh, some of the characters in the game that... Oh, I, I don't want to say too much more, but... The lore is worth it. Absolutely seek it out and read it. This isn't a very long game either. You should be able to get through this in maybe 15 to 20 hours. Um, but it's definitely worth your time. It's a little bit um, more expensive of the ones I'm recommending at you know $12.50, but still not a huge amount of money um, for a phenomenal little indie title. Uh, very polished, very good, very fun. There is, if you don't like platforming and you are a completionist, this has a few tricky jumps to get some uh, well-hidden collectibles. They're not impossible, but they will frustrate you. Just keep that in mind. Next up, uh, Wasteland 3. This is a game that I have started many times. Um, I would love to finish it. I just get so, what do they call it, analysis paralysis. This is a very you can make it into a very spreadsheet-esque game where you are just hyper-focusing on min-maxing and perfect builds and abilities, and I love doing that in video games. It's not always good, and in the case of this game, it has led me over and over again to not finish it. This is um, a game like XCOM, um, where you are doing tactical turn-based combat, cover shooting, um, but... This one is just super bombastic, uh, over the top violence. Um, you are, uh, you're in a squad of, of rangers sent. You were called in to help clear out some, some upstarts, and uh, you're you're ambushed very early on in the beginning, and you're just kind of trying to survive in the wasteland, I guess, of Colorado, I believe. Um, the writing's fun. The builds are crazy. There's a lot of um, a lot of variety. There's there's just a lot to this game. If you like XCOM, you'll like this game. Um, and for only eight bucks, it's it's hard not to add this to your backlog. Uh, try not to leave it there though. It's worth your time. I should take my own advice and finish this one of these days because. It is, it is just fantastic. I even bought the DLC for it, which I don't always do, but um, I did grab it for this. All right, next is Inscription, and I actually almost put two of Daniel Mullen's games on my list, but I felt that was not the thing to do. Inscription is the one that I've played more recently. I may do another one of these videos, and in if I do, I will shout out the other game that I was uh, thinking about putting on here, but man... When I first played Inscription, I had no idea what was going on. Go into this blind. Uh, don't read anything about it. Just play it. Um, it, it. It's a deck builder. Uh, like, 
uh, like Slay the Spire, if you are familiar. Um, and there's there's the subplot, and if you've never played a Daniel Mullen game, just do yourself a favor and try this out. It's so it messes with your brain. There's all this these meta puzzles in here, and just it's so hard to talk about this game without spoiling anything actually there's so so much going on and so much to do it's so much fun um you'll you'll find yourself definitely once you beat the game you'll you'll lose some hours on wikipedia and other forums just reading about what the hell did i just experience what did i play how do I get more of this? Did I do it all? Is there more to find? Um, it's it's just it's a fantastic little game. And again, this is another one that's a little bit more on the pricey side in terms of what I've picked out at twelve bucks, but well worth the twelve dollars. I think I've bought this on multiple platforms. I own this two or three times, um, and I, I bought it. I'm sure at full price just so I could go back, even though I know what's coming. Um, this is this is just a fantastic game. Don't miss it. Don't skip it. Absolutely play this. And this is a second, I think my second Devolver game. Devolver, pretty much anything they put out is just is just good. It's if it's got Devolver as a publisher, it's worth your time. And this and the Messenger are Devolver games. Alright. The last game on the list is not such a hidden gem. We're going to call this an honorable mention, if anything. Uh, Tabletop Simulator. I love this thing. This has allowed me to experience quite a few different board games that I was on the fence about, or things that are out of print, or if it's a kickstarted game, you can sometimes get to them early. Board games may not be your thing, but if you watch any of my content, um, it's mine. I, I love board games. Um, some of the my best friends that I grew up with have moved far away, so playing board games with them is uh, still possible now with Tabletop Simulator. Um, I threw this on here because this game goes on sale all the time. You should just have this in your Steam library. This is just a staple game that everyone should own. If you do want to get semi-serious about Tabletop Simulator and you need to convince some friends, I suggest you buy that four-pack. Uh, what I had done with that is I made three additional Steam accounts and I gifted a copy to, um, e so I gifted one to my, or I, I bought it on my primary account and then I gifted the additional three copies to three more Steam accounts that I maintain control over. And if I introduce this to one of my friends that doesn't yet own it, I can just give them a temporary access to one of my Steam accounts. They can install the game, check it out. It's resulted so far in a 100% success rate of them then going out and buying the game for their own account. Um, uh, Tabletop Sim just it allows you to uh, play any any sort of board game that's out there as long as somebody's made a mod for it. And if you're into scripting, you can make your own mods. Uh, it's all it uses Lua, um, and that can be fun as well. And that's all I have for you. Let me know. If you pick any of these up, if you've already had them, have you heard of all these games before? Is there anything that you think I should have shouted out that I didn't? I do intend to make a couple more of these videos, uh, maybe not necessarily all hidden gem related, but I have a few more ideas. When I was going through the sale myself, I think I had 30 different tabs open, and I trimmed it down to just the ones that I showed today. But I love talking about games, I love playing games, so I will almost certainly make at least one more of these videos. If you made it all the way to the end and are still listening to me ramble, please consider subscribing to the channel, uh, dropping a like on this video. I'm still a baby in the YouTube world, um, but I am trying to get my channel monetized. I have a long way to go, but every subscription helps, so if you're feeling generous, uh, please hit that button. Thank you very much.